Our survival ascended is here, and with it, cryopods are removed, meaning you can no longer bring big dinos inside caves, and you have to walk them in through the entrance now. We're going to go over what dinos can be brought through what cave entrances and figure out which ones are best. Well, that was the Redwood Cave, and as you can see, it has a very tight entrance, meaning not a whole lot of creatures can fit in. These are the creatures that can. Starting off, the Arthropleura, the Arania, the Sabretooth, the Gigantopithecus, the Direwolf, Terrorbird, Moss Chops, Megalosaurus, Bezel Bufo, Raptor, Caprosuchus, and the Equus. From now on, I am going to refer to all these creatures as the small creatures, and we'll have them listed in the description. All these creatures will take you to and from the artifact in this cave with no problems at all. One cool thing about the Bealzy Bufo is anytime you harvest a bug with it, it turns it directly into cementing paste. And with the sheer number of bugs in this cave, you run this and you'll have a ton of cementing paste afterwards. The Baryonic also fits in this cave and is likely the best option because the Arthropleurus pit is too low and will not be able to hit you, meaning your armor will not break. And in this cave, that's important because you don't want your gas mask breaking. I do want to mention there's a strategy that a lot of players use, and that's raising thylas inside of caves. Because it can't fit through the entrance when it's fully grown, if you bring it in as a baby and leave it in this area, and raise it in this area, you are able to use it inside the cave freely. Just keep it in this area here and it will be safe. Next is the snow cave. This has the artifact of the strong. All the small creatures as listed before work here, as well as the baryonyx will now be able to fit through the entrance of this cave. Using the same method as mentioned before, you are able to bring a baby thyla in past the cave entrance and raise it inside the lobby of the cave. Though I want to mention that after I had logged off overnight and logged back in, my thyla that I had left in the cave became glitched inside the wall. Real quick, I want to mention it will not be covering the Skylord cave as it is a crouched cave and you cannot bring any mounts inside there. As the Brute cave or the Cunning cave as those are both underwater caves. Next up is the Clever Cave. This cave can fit all the small creatures as well as the Baryonyx and Megalosaurus. And you can raise the Thyla inside this cave as we talked about before. Also you could raise the Megatherium in here and that works perfectly well too. Just know it has to be brought in as a baby past the entrance and will not be able to leave once it's fully grown. But it's safe in this area, there's no enemies that spawn here yet. Next is the Artifact of the Hunter. This cave is pretty easy. Again, small creatures all will work in here, as well as the Baryonyx will also fit. For this cave, I don't recommend using the Thyla, just because you have to take an alternate route to get it to the artifact, and the size is it's, it's pretty small. You have to raise it pretty far in, it's going to get attacked, it's not worth it. This is a pack cave. All small creatures will be able to get you in the cave and to the artifact. However, not all of them will be able to get you out of the cave. Bear with me and let me explain. Now as you make your way through the cave, you're going to reach this point here and you're going to be greeted with this big old open room. What you can do is you can take your tame and jump down to the bottom of this pit here. Do make sure you dismount your tame before you hit the ground in order to avoid taking fall damage. There is a path to the bottom, but only four tames are able to make it through this path because of the two choke points that lay along it. This is one that you're looking at right now. The second one is a little bit further down. That's why I said all creatures can take you to the artifact, it's just that not all of them will be able to get you back. Because in order to get back to the entrance, they have to climb this path. And this is the second choke point right here. These are the four dinos that can get you in and out. It'd be the raptor, the aranio, terrorbird, and direwolf. All the other creatures won't be able to, even the small ones. These are the only four. This is the lava cave, the artifact of the massive. And for this, you're going to want a team that can jump. So, we have all the tames that can fit in the cave and that can jump. Starting off with the Baryonyx, the Naterabird, Gigapithecus, Megalosaurus, Sabretooth, Raptor, Bealzy Bufo, and the Wolf. The Thylacolio does work, but once again you have to raise it inside the cave as it will not fit past the entrance. And right up here is the reason why you need a tame that can jump. Failure to do so will put you in that lava, and that does not look fun. Finally is the Artifact of the Devourer, the Carnot Island Cave. For this cave, it's all the same tames as the massive, except the thyla. You don't want to use the thyla on this one. Even if you raise it in, you have to raise it too far for it to be worth it. Like the massive cave, this cave also has jumps, which is why you want all the same tames that work for the massive cave as you want this cave. Finally, I went into single player and I spawned every dino in at level 1 to figure out their base HP as well as their DPS. 
To figure out the DPS, I hit a training dummy for 10 seconds and took the number that gave me and divided it by 10. For some reason, all these DPS numbers are very high. I'm not sure why that is. You're not going to be hitting like this like normal, but it still is going to give you a good idea of the difference between the damage of the different teams. Starting off with the Thyla has a base health of 700 with a DPS of 350, but its main drawback is the fact that it cannot enter caves. Next is the Baryonyx, with a health of 440 and a DPS of 285. A lot of people love this team, and I totally get it, I would recommend it myself. The Gigantopithecus is really good. Instead of having a saddle, it wears a helmet. So you can put a flak helmet on if you have a really good blueprint, it provides really really good armor, and it's really solid. The only negative of this guy is it can't get out of the pack cave, meaning each time you want to run this cave and get this artifact, you have to return back to the pit room and use a grapple hook to get to the top, leaving a Gigapithecus down below, left for dead. And that brings me to these three, the Raptor, Direwolf, and Terrorbird. They're all awesome options because they can enter and exit all of the caves. With the Raptor having 200 base HP with 226 DPS, Direwolf with 330 HP, 386 DPS, and the Terror Bird with 270 HP and 204 DPS. The Wolf seems like it has the best numbers, although it cannot wear a saddle. And the Primitive Saddle alone has about 50% damage reduction. The Terror Bird and Raptor both can have saddles meaning they take 50% less damage even with a primitive saddle, making it just really hard to recommend the direwolf. You have to rely on a mate boosted pack, and that's just not feasible for everyone. That was a lot of information, so let's just do a quick recap. If you want a team that can go in every cave, I'd recommend either the Terrorbird, Raptor, or Direwolf. Direwolf would not be my top choice just because of its lack of saddle. To me, the Thyla is just not worth it. I don't want to go through the hassle of breeding a whole bunch of Thylas in a whole bunch of different caves just not worth it to me. Any of the creatures that work for the massive cave are going to be really solid creatures. Because they can jump, they're able to do both the massive cave as well as the devourer cave. Most of them are small, which means that they can do all the other caves as well. They just might not be able to get out of the pack cave. And if that's not a big deal to you, then I'd say choose any of those and you'll be a solid. I personally am going to be going for the Baryonyx, just because I don't mind breeding an extra one each time I run the pack cave and it runs everything else great. Thank you for watching. If you had any questions, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. We'll try and make sense of it. Have a great day.